praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus i'm very very happy to welcome all of you to listen to the word of god through the episode thunder of god today i would like to speak to you about the importance to pray for the priests praise the lord praise the lord saint john maria viani once said priesthood is the heart of the love of god now let us pray that the holy spirit may come upon us may the love of christ may come down upon us so that we may have a have an earnest desire to pray for our priests please close your eyes and raise your hands if possible and give him glory and honor hallelujah thank you jesus praise you lord we worship you jesus come lord jesus we need your love we need your presence come jesus come lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah is amazing city and changing you love is a mountain so we need my feet Your love is a mystery how you gently lift me when i am surrounded your love carries clap your hands and sing hallelujah 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 your love makes me sing hallelujah 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 your love makes me sing your love is amazing steady and unchanging Your love is a mountain from beneath my feet Your love is a mystery how you gently lift me when i am surrounded you love carries me Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. You love makes me see Hallelujah 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 You love makes me see Hallelujah 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 You love makes me see Hallelujah 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 You love makes me see Hallelujah Yes you makes me see Hallelujah You makes me see Hallelujah Hallelujah Holy Spirit breathe upon me Holy Spirit breathe of God Holy Spirit breathe upon me Holy Spirit Spirit of the Lord as we lift our hands and surrender people in Christ Jesus may the holy spirit inspire your hearts and your lives that you may be able to pray for your priests mother mary queen of priests 
help us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 So my dear friends in Christ Jesus, the book of Exodus, chapter 17, there is an instance. Moses is asking Joshua to go to the battlefield and Moses went to the mountain top and he began to pray for Joshua and for the soldiers. And he stretched out his hands and he began to pray. And the Bible teaches a very beautiful thing. Book of Exodus chapter 17 verse 11. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. And whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. So this is the power of intercession. So power, intercessory prayers are very powerful. Moses did not go for the battle, but he was praying for Joshua and for other, other soldiers. And the next sentence, verse 12. But Moses' hands grew weary. You see, Moses was a human being. So his hands grew weary. So they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other. on the other side yeah, praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord so my dear friends i think you are in the position of aaron and hur who helped to raise up the hands of moses they knew the fact that moses is the leader is the spiritual leader when his hands are raised up the people they prevailed in the war as we know we are in a battlefield spiritual battle and if the hands of the priests when they raise up god what happens the people of god will be able to fight the enemy and conquer him but priests are human beings just as moses hand hands went down many times they become weak so it's a duty of the people of god to go and help the priests through intercessory prayers we can really help the priests so that they will be able to pray for you and you will succeed in this war Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise, Praise you Jesus. Jesus. In the Acts of the Apostles chapter 12 Herod he gave an order to kill James and James was put into death. Then what happened? many people became happy so herod again asked the uh, our police to arrest peter and peter was arrested and he was in the jail but peter was sleeping he had this presence of god with him so he felt so quiet anyway when james was assassinated the people of god did not pray fervently but when peter was arrested the bible says acts of the apostles chapter 12 verse 5 the people prayed fervently for peter please listen to that word of god while peter was kept in prison the church prayed fervently to god for him so this is a very powerful intercessory prayer praying for the church leader praying for the pope so the church prayed fervently to god for him then what happened an angel of god appeared in the prison 
he did so many miraculous things so the following verses from six following we see the miraculous intervention intervention of the angel and peter escaped from the prison and he went to the house of john the bible says verse 12 second part many had gathered and were praying so when peter went to the house what what he was saying many people were praying for him so this intercessory prayers very powerful very useful especially fervent prayers now what we lack is this fervent prayer i think some of you may be praying for your priest every mass the priest is pleading the prayers of the people of god the priest says pray for me brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father so every time during the time of mass the priest is uh, pleading your prayers and some of you may be praying during that time but we need fervent prayers praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah john maria viani he is a patron saint for all the priests when he gave a sermon on priesthood he said a very beautiful thing please listen saint viani said the priest is not a priest for himself he does not give himself absolution he does not administer the sacraments to himself he is not for himself he is for you after god the priest is everything and again saint john vianney says when the people wish to destroy religion they begin to attack the priest because where there is no longer any sacrifice there is no religion so the priest is not for himself the priest is for you so it's your duty to support him through fervent prayers i know a priest and his name is father abraham he is from he is from kerala one one day when he was giving his testimony he said the following things he said his parishness very loving people they got an opportunity to attend a charismatic retreat and through the charismatic renewal program they really received the anointing of the holy spirit and they started prayer groups and this priest a very peculiar person he was not in favor of these things so he mocked at them and he was never he never uh, promoted uh, these prayer groups but this poor parishness they prayed they interceded for the priest they did some fasting for him and one day some of them came and said to father abraham father abraham uh, we are going for another spiritual renewal program are you coming with us then he agreed and he just went with them through that program five days of residential retreat holy spirit touched father abraham in a very powerful way and now he is a very powerful preacher and when he gave his testimony he said my parishness they prayed for me they took fasting for me and what happened i also got a powerful infilling of the holy spirit praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus that's why when saint paul wrote a letter to the romans he asked them to pray for him letter to romans chapter 15 verse 30 and 31 so please listen to the word of god verse 30 saint paul says like this i appeal to you brothers and sisters by our lord jesus christ and by the love of the spirit to join me in earnest prayer to god on my behalf oh he says earnest prayer for him please pray earnestly for me the saint paul is asking the people to pray for him earnestly for two things first thing that i may be rescued from the unbelievers in judea yeah that is the first thing then the second thing and that my ministry to jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints to saints means those who believe in jesus in those time uh, those who had the faithful called the saints so saint paul was asking 
the people to pray for him fervently so that he may be rescued from the unbelievers and may his ministry be acceptable to the saints in jerusalem so you have this duty my dear sisters and brothers to pray for your priest to fast for your priest to do way of stations of the cross for your priest praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus i belong to the dice of palakkad back in kerala originally but now i am working in the uk and my bishop back in kerala his name is bishop jacob manathodath he got an opportunity to celebrate a mass with pope francis so when my bishop met pope francis he asked your holiness uh, what message you want to give to my flock back in my diocese then pope francis said to him said to my bishop bishop jacob please ask your people to pray for me and after the mass again my bishop went to the pope and said bishop do you have anything else to say to the people then again he said pope said to my bishop please ask your people to pray for me so he believes in the power of intercessory prayers my dear sisters and brothers all the priests we you priests need your prayers please pray for us please pray that we may get the spirit of boldness the spirit of courage to preach the gospel that's why saint paul in his letter to the ephesians chapter 6 verse 19 and 20 saint paul says like this ephesians chapter 6 verse 9 verses 19 and 20 pray also for me so that when i speak a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which i am an ambassador in chains pray that i may declare it boldly as i must speak so the priest needs the gift of boldness and saint paul is asking the people of god to pray for him that he may get the spirit of courage that he may preach the gospel without watering down praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord so sisters and brothers let us ask the holy spirit to give us this desire to love the priest and to pray for the priest let us close our eyes come holy spirit fill the hearts of thy faithful in kindle them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created come holy spirit help your faithful to pray for priests oh lord i ask you to give them the spirit of intercessor oh holy spirit come and help us holy spirit may the church do fervent praise for priests and for bishops and for pope lord give us this this zeal of intercessory prayers now let us raise our hands and ask the lord to pour out his spirit upon us hallelujah hallelujah Send your spirit. holy spirit come holy spirit oh lord our god holy spirit come holy spirit send your spirit Help us Holy Spirit Help us Holy Spirit Holy Oh Lord our God Come Holy Spirit Oh Lord our God Let us sing together send your spirit oh Lord Send your spirit Oh Lord Oh Lord our God Oh send your spirit send your spirit once again let us ask our blessed virgin mary to pray for us and to pray for the priests hail mary full, full of, of grace, grace the, the lord, lord is with thee blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O sacrament most holy. Thanksgiving be every moment thine, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, now we are in the presence of the blessed sacrament. He is here. He is touching us. Psalm 62 verse 2, the Bible says, He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress, and I will never be shaken. Now let us pray. raise our hearts and hands towards him and give him glory and honor hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus this is the power of christ in me jesus from lifeless cry to final breath jesus commands my destiny No power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns and calls me home here in the power of Christ I stand thank you Jesus thank you lord praise you Jesus thank you lord praise you Jesus thank you Jesus you are the fortress you are our refuge praise you lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus first john chapter 4 verse 4 the one who is inside me is greater than the one who is outside the world now we receive his blessing once again let us surrender our entire life to him and let us be aware of his presence lord jesus fill us with your presence Now let us receive his blessing. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Most holy O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be Thanksgiving 